me tell you a personal story on me. One day, I was trying to get into a place, and I was pushing on the door and pushing on the door, and when that didn't work, I decided to push harder with greater human strength, and that didn't work. And so I pointed at the door and said to someone inside, there's something wrong with the door. And they came over laughing and pointed to a small sign on the door that said, pull, not push. Oh, how many times in our humanness we do this. How many times we want to push at a door that says pull. And when we do, <laughs> you're, you're going to be like me. You're going to want to just sink into the sidewalk. You're, you're going to hope that no one, you're going to look around and hope that no one is watching you make you fool out of yourself, which you've already done. The remarkable thing about respecting God's power is you are able in moments like that to, to say something's wrong. And maybe I need a wisdom that's higher than my own. Maybe I need to go to God. And when you do that, you see things that the human mind doesn't see, things that you were blind to a minute ago. Was blind, but now I see. And you'll see the sign on the door that says pull, and you'll, you'll be able to, <laughs> to pull before you make a fool out of yourself the way I did. When you know God, you have a power that is with you. And knowing and respecting God and God's power means that you fear nothing else. Whereas if you don't know God, you fear everything else. You have a power that is with you when you know God that, that sustains you from inside. And that's in every part of you, mentally, physically, and in your soul. In Proverbs 9, verse 10, it says, The respect of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of God is is understanding. When we take time, and I mean throughout the day, not just in moments isolated of prayer, but constantly through, through the day, when we are facing something, when we're pushing and, and trying to make something happen and nothing's happening, that's the time to step back and to go into prayer and say, God, I need your help. God, I'm not seeing something here. Help me to see the whole picture. Help me to have your wisdom come through. When we have a healthy respect for God's power, we become wise and also obedient. So many times when we're pushing, we want our way and no other way will work for us. When something seems impossible. Often it is because we're trying to do the impossible our way alone. There's a higher way, and it is an understanding of genuine wisdom that begins with a profound appreciation for God's limitless power in the moment you can go to church on Sunday, but unless you use it on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, it doesn't stay with you long. The faith of God is meant to be used in and through you. Well, the good news. When you develop a healthy, genuine respect of God's power, you'll soon discover that those nameless fears of the human self and the worries of the human self that accompany the challenges of everyday life, they evaporate. They evaporate like the morning dew when the sun comes out. And when they evaporate, you realize, looking back, how little they really were. So today, 
and every day thereafter, remind yourself of spiritual truth. God is great, and God is all-knowing. God is all-powerful, and God deserves your profound moment-by-moment -moment respect. And while you're at it, remind yourself that when you give God the respect that God deserves, you will be both wise and you'll have a, a new courage that infills you, that helps you to go about your daily living with a new zest and zeal.